2025 is shaping up to be another great year for e-commerce. The sales projections are skyrocketing, especially for dropshipping. I found a brand new product research method, and today I'm taking you live to uncover products that are doing over $100,000 a month. We'll check out each store, their top products, their current revenue, active ads, suppliers, and so much more. My name is Alex if you're new, and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Okay, so the product research tool we'll be talking about in this video is called Zik Analytics. And you guys can actually get started with Zik for as little as a dollar. Now, I believe Zik started off as a product research tool for eBay sellers, and they recently expanded to Shopify. And that's actually when I went ahead and signed up for Zik myself as soon as I saw this. Now, you guys can see all these helpful resources that we'll be going over in just a moment, like the Shopify store finder, sales tracker. You also have the product explorer tool as well as the market insights dashboard. So let's go ahead and log into Zik and get started. All right, so right away when you log into Zik Analytics, you're taken to this page right here. And this is called the market insights dashboard. So you can see this list right here displays the top Shopify stores. This one over here is displaying the top winning products. Both of these lists are updated every single day. So everything you're seeing right here is completely up to date. You can see all of these stores, their current sales, the amount of sales they've generated over the last 30 days and revenue. And same thing for all of these winning products over here. You also have an additional feature right here, the upcoming events calendar. And this is going to show you all of the upcoming events and holidays and really any days that you can capitalize on. If you scroll down, it's gonna give you some trending keywords about each one of those events right here. So you guys can scroll to this calendar and you can see any upcoming holidays that you guys can use to promote your products or come up with any sales, offers, just be creative with it. Scrolling back up to the top of the page, we have our tools right here. You're gonna see all the store research tools. You have your sales tracker, your store finder, your product explorer your title builder, as well as your theme detector. And then you also have some additional resources like the Zik Academy to learn more about dropshipping as well as their overall platform. So let's start by going on the sales tracker. That takes us to this page over here. And right away, you can see some previous Shopify stores that I've looked up on my own. Now, what you guys can do is you can go on your competitor's Shopify stores, take their URL at the top of the page and paste it in this little bar right here. Once you click search, it's going to start tracking all the sales for that store. You can see their products, their sales today, their sales yesterday, their seven day sales, as well as their total amount sold. So this is a very powerful tool if you wanna start tracking your competitors or any similar stores within your niche. You can actively see when their sales start to increase and when they come out with new products. So for example, you can click on this little icon right here to analyze each store. And we can go ahead and look at each Shopify store in depth. So we can see this is Driftflow. They're based in the US. They have three products, 406 sales, and $26,000 in revenue over the last 30 days. We can click this show chart right here, and it's gonna show their sales chart over the last 30 days. We can see that for the most part, it is pretty consistent, but it did drop off around mid-February. So it looks like they stopped running their ads a couple weeks ago. So if you're looking for products to sell on this store, maybe the one that cut off all of their ads isn't the best idea to go with. Moving over to their store finder tab, you guys can actually look up Shopify stores using all of this search criteria right here. We can go ahead and search for certain keywords, store type, what social channels they use, what ads they have running. We can go ahead and look at their minimum and maximum amount of sales, revenue, their active products, what country they're based in, their currency, the sales date range, and so much more. So let's say we wanna find Shopify stores that are doing at least $10,000 a month, we're gonna leave keywords alone. This can be any niche. We wanna look up drop shipping and one product stores. And we'll go ahead and leave social channels and ad channels alone. But if you're specifically running like Facebook products or TikTok shop products, or you only wanna advertise on Pinterest, you can select any of those boxes right there. But based on this criteria right here, drop shipping stores and one product stores doing at least $10,000 a month, let's click search. So right away, we can see that all of these Shopify stores right here are doing at least $10,000 every single month. We can see the country they're based in, the type of store it is, when it was created, all of their active social channels, their ad channels, as well as their sales and their revenue. So we can see some stores are doing $80,000 a month, some are doing 90, dollars $100,000 a month, but stores like this are doing upwards of a million dollars every single month. And those are the stores you wanna focus on. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So right here, we have the Eco Trade Company. They're doing about $1.1 million every single month. They have over 1,400 products, over 4,000 sales in the last month. And look at all these active social channels. They're running Facebook ads. Let's take a look at their products. So it looks like they're actually a general dropshipping store. They have all different types of products. There's no certain niches. And all these products are doing different amounts of sales. So you guys can see this mobility scooter right here is doing $14,000 a month, where other products like this crayon holder is doing $200 a month. So this one's a little too randomized for my liking. So I'll go ahead and move on to some other stores. Or you can move over to their product explorer tool right here to look up actual products instead. So you can search for certain keywords if you wanna look up certain types of products or certain niches. We can look up dropshipping products, print on demand products, one product stores, and which channels they have active ads on. So same thing as before, let's go ahead and look up dropshipping stores and one product stores that are doing at least $10,000 a month and we'll click search. So it's gonna bring up a whole list of products that are doing at least $10,000 a month that are either drop shipped or on single product stores. And we can see our results right here. You can see when each product was uploaded to its store, the price it's selling for, it's seven day sales, it's 30 day sales, and it's 30 day revenue. So once again, we see products that are doing $100,000 a month, $40,000 a month, this one's doing $200,000 a month. But then we scroll and we see products like this that are doing $300,000 a month. This one's doing 18,000, this one's doing 20,000. Don't get me wrong, products that are doing $20,000 a month are still great products to sell. But when you have other products that are doing two and $300,000 a month for some of these brands, those are like gold mines. You wanna jump on those trends. So keep scrolling, there's some products you can't sell like these gift cards, or like this weed grinder right here, you'd never get away with selling that on Facebook. It's not even worth it. Keep going down. These LED masks always do really well year round for some reason. This one's selling for $300 and it's done over $200,000 over the last month. Let's keep going down. We're starting to see products that are just doing 40, 50, even $20,000 a month. But like I already said, those are still good products. These are all products that you want to focus on. Because I only put the minimum amount of revenue is $10,000, but you can put it as like 40, 50, even $100,000 if you wanted to. But I want to make sure that I'm not missing out on any opportunities because a lot of times you see these products and they're just starting to gain traction. So a $20,000 a month product right now might be a $400,000 a month next month. Keep that in mind. Now, one more thing that I wanted to mention is that when you guys find winning products on these stores like this, say for example, this thermosip cup right here that's doing $7,000 a month, you guys can actually source AliExpress suppliers in one click by clicking on this icon right here. It's gonna use AI to analyze all these different AliExpress listings. It's gonna keep in mind the Shopify price, the AliExpress price, and how much you're making per sale with your profit, your margin, and your return on investment. So scroll through all of these different suppliers, open some new tabs and go ahead and compare them all. And once you have it narrowed down to say five to 10 suppliers, go ahead and reach out to all of them. See what shipping options you have available, see if they support drop shipping, see if they can lower their prices at all. You wanna find the suppliers that support drop shipping because not every supplier is going to. And this is just for the early stages of testing. Obviously you don't wanna depend on AliExpress suppliers forever. This is just for testing new products in validating your ideas. Once you find a winning product, you have to source a private supplier for it. But we'll talk about that another day. That's everything you need to know if you wanna start uncovering six and seven figure dropshipping products yourself. I've been using this tool for the last year and I've been able to start multiple six and seven figure businesses because of it. So go ahead and give Zik a try yourself. And if you found any value in this video, consider leaving a like sharing with others and subscribing for more. I've got quite a few resources to help you guys get started linked down below. Don't miss out on any of those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.